always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, 16 days, well, was it? Two out of 16 days, we've had no measurable rain. Dry pattern continues. Surprised to even see the lawn green down there. Of course, it must be watering at the GVSU campus. Another day with lots of sunshine, filtered a, a little bit with some smoke in the upper parts of the atmosphere. That's kind of the going theme here. Really a cool looking shot. This is South Haven. You can see a fishing boat coming in the channel, sailboat off to the distance. Notice how calm the waves are with that northeast wind. They are a little bit uh, stronger once you head a little bit further north along the coastline. Line. And this is Grand Haven. Also very uh, quiet conditions out there. Quite a few people enjoying the beach. Speaking of that uh, forecast, water temperatures, first time I've seen this, mid-50s out there in South Haven, also Saugatuck, and uh, still in the upper 40s up around Ludington. Notice where that purple shade is. That's where there's a beach advisory. And with that northeast wind stronger up to the north, from Whitehall northward to Ludington, Pentwater included, there is a uh, beach hazard statement out there. Just be a little bit careful. I really don't expect anybody to be in the water as uh, it certainly is quite cold. Uh, partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions out there. Those four foot waves would be right, right at the Little Savo Point area and Big Savo Point. Nonetheless, cooler air has made its way in. Right now, 64 in the Grand Rapids area, still holding on to 79 degrees in South Bend, but your temperatures or their temperatures will start to go down. Now, yesterday I pointed out the warm readings up in Marquette, well up into the 70s, and I knew once that cold front would move through, it'd be much, much colder day up there. And look at that, they're at 45 degrees currently. Here is the temperature change in the past 24 hours. 32 degrees colder in Marquette. Really up there, it makes all the difference in the world. The wind's coming off of the lake. And it's uh, 8 degrees cooler compared to yesterday at noon in Grand Rapids. Look at that. 26 degrees cooler. That northeast wind coming across uh, Lake Michigan right into the Milwaukee area. So you can see how the temperatures are cooler as we head further to the north and east. This is where the cooler air is coming from off of Saginaw and uh, Bay and also Lake Huron. 74 right now currently in Kalamazoo. So the wind, it's a little bit on the breezy side. Here's some of those wind gusts at 24 in Grand Rapids, 23 Hastings, 20 in Greenville, not quite as strong off near I-94. Uh, just to, the plain old wind, uh, sustained wind will be around 10 to 20 throughout the day, but it's going to taper off quite a bit tonight. Probably won't go totally calm, but uh, light enough that we'll likely see some frost develop in some areas. So you can see kind of a band of clouds out there pressing to the south and west. That's going to move through, so we'll go back and forth to partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions out there. Mid-afternoon, you can see that band uh, progressing to the south, maybe some high-level clouds off to the south later on tonight. But as high pressure settles in for tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and the holiday, a weekend essentially we're going to see just basically full sunshine i think uh, basically thursday right on through the saturday time frame so very benign weather pattern but one we can certainly get on board with okay let's take a look at uh, eight day forecast we'll go right to it and you can see full sunshine and a warming trend as we head into the holiday weekend uh, i'd say by sunday we'll be in the lower 80s mid 80s for monday and look at this i didn't pull the trigger on it yet but you could see close to 90 on wednesday we have a shot of our first uh, 90 degree temperature of the season wow that all looks fantastic yeah. thank you matt